Hi, and welcome to a data visualization tutorial of how to make bar chart in Python with Plotly. This is a bar chart created earlier showing the population or the rising population of Nigeria from the year 1950 up to the to let's I think let's see that's 2007 the package that I'm using is notebook inside Anaconda so there's there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to install an Anaconda once that is installed you can get this notebook Jupyter notebook so this is the Nigerian data so let me change this I'm going to change that to another country let's go for Ghana and let's see the how Ghana is doing from 1950 from 1950 up to year 2007 the population is approximately 22.8 million okay let's say approximately 22.9 million that's the population okay but you can see this steady rising population from the 19 50s okay well, let's look at that of India let's see there we go that's Indian population from the 1950s 1950s we're talking about 372 million let's look at 1980 that's about 780 million and if we come to 2007, we're talking of 1.1 billion. That's for the year 2007. Now, let's have another look at a different country entirely. I'm going to go for Canada. Run, run the program again. That is Canada. And up to date, Canada, oh, that's 2007 as well. It's giving us, as of 2007, the estimated population is 33 million plus now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to put together something like this using jupyter notebook but like i said you will have to install the package called anaconda and there's, there are a lot of tutorials there this very tutorial is from one of those packages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file here you guys might not be able to see it because I wanted you to see this bar chart properly. So let's increase that so that you can see the file. Go to file and let's select a new notebook. Select Python 3. And in the very first thing you will have to do is we have to import Plotly. Plotly is one of the modules that we have to import. So we said plotly dot express as ps. Okay, px is just a nickname or what you can call it, whatever you want. So I'm going to have to run that now. Run. Okay, now I'm going to declare a local variable. This local variable I can just call it, let's say, country underscore pop for population equals px dot data dot gap minor there I think that gap minor might be a function I don't know but you can always read up on, on it I will include the link to this tutorial for you guys so that you can do your own research. And let's say we want to query this data now, where this data is. That I don't know as well. So it's left for you guys to carry out your own intensive research and see what you can come up with. So they also have an inbuilt function there called country. So this country I'm going to say equals. And we must enter an apostrophe. So, what country shall we go for? I'm going to go for United Kingdom. Let's see. 
there. United Kingdom. And now to plot this, so let's come down here. Let's see, there should be there should be a quote here, and there's a quote here as well. So we'll delete one of these here. Okay, now let's go to let's define or create another variable. This variable I'm going to just call it db. db equals px, which is the alias I have up there. Dot bar. Okay, and we want the data. We want the population, the country pop, I call it. So we want the population to be stored inside my variable called db so population comma and i want on my chart to have the, to show me the x-axis and that x-axis is to represent the year okay and i also want the y-axis for the y-axis that should represent let's say the population so enter in here y equals enter your apostrophe and let's just say population in there now and i need to round up this my db so we say db dot show okay let's come in here and get that to show properly there okay one apostrophe is missing here as well okay then so if you get it right you should get this color kind of like reddish color i think that's about it so what i'm going to do now is to just give it a try and see how that looks like but let's just make sure i've got every data in there right i think i am on the right part so let's run now we have an error let's see what the error is about okay looking at this error what it's telling me is that i think they do have a function called data frame and in there i said i want population but it's known as pop so i'm going to go back up there and change this my population get rid of that and just leave it as a pop then run it again and let's see there we go it's coming up now all right this is what I come up with. All it's just shown us is from 1952 and shown us the population and so on. That is the x axis and this is for the y axis. That's what it's shown us. Why do we have the data in this format? Let's have a look at our codes in here. See, every other thing is right in here apart from show. Inside show, I was meant to enter parenthesis that is it look at it parenthesis so if we run it now look at what's going to happen it's a good learning curve for all of us see that so that is the population of great britain between the year of 1950 it was about 50 million and if we go up to 2007 we're talking of approximately 60.77 let's say 60.8 million okay you can see the gradual increment and here it's kind of like a little bit of reducing population growth that was uh, 2000 and oh sorry that was 1982 okay well, let's try other countries let's see the population of other countries i'm going to try let's try south africa but the thing is you must be they must they must have the name right on their data else you might not get any correct data about that very country so let's try out south africa that is south africa 1950 we are talking of about 14 million oh boy and i think the highest growth here that year is let's see 2002 they have approximately 44.4 .4 million 
and if we come to 2007 then they have approximately 43.9 million okay that's how this package work i think i'm going to recommend this package to everyone and you guys should have a look i think i like it Let, let's go for australia i think that's gonna be my last one and let's see australia yeah i think that's the spelling no that should be an a all right let's see australia run it again and let's see there we go look at australia as at 1950 they only have approximately 8 million people whoa in that huge land that's strange and as at 2007 20 million plus boy well guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of this very interesting data data visualization i think you guys you, you should have a go at it i'm beginning to like it i, I love it myself so without i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i'll be right back with more data visualization tutorial so you all have a nice day bye for now